hey guys, we're starting a brand new writing lesson. This one's called personal narrative. Say what? Yes, personal narrative. What does personal narrative mean? Well, personal means person, you and I, a person. Personal means me. And narrative means story. So it means a story about me. And you're going to be writing a story about you, a personal narrative. What story are you going to be writing about? Are you gonna write your entire story about what happened your entire life? What you've been doing since you were born? And once upon a time, I was a baby and I came into the world, right? No, that's, that might take way too long for you to write sentences and sentences about you from when you were a baby. But no, we're going to write a small moment of your life, all right? So let's talk about it first. A personal narrative is you are the main character. Yeah, so you are the main character and it's a story about you and you are the most important character in that story. Number two, you have to use words like I, me, mine, or my, or myself. So you're gonna say um, like once upon a time or when I was 13, I went to blah, 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 but you haven't been 13. Okay, maybe like when I was three, I fell and I hurt my knee and then I had to go to the hospital. <gasps> Big deal, right? So I said the word, I went to the hospital, I got hurt. I have the words I. So in a personal narrative, you have to use words about I and me and myself. Got it? All right, and then also, you can write about, it says you can write about a, about you in a special place, about you in a special event, like a moment, like your birthday, like the first day of school, like when you went camping. You can write about you and your family. It's not just about your family. It has to be you in the story. Or about you and your pets. Okay, so the most important thing is that you have to imagine the story in your brain draw about it, and then you write about it, okay? Imagine in your head, draw and write. All right, so we're going, what I want us to do is talk about a very small moment in your life. Don't move, don't move camera, there. A small moment story. It looks at a very small, specific moment it has to be a true story so it can't be something that you made up okay it has to be a very truthful story about something that actually happened to you and the best part about writing a personal narrative is that nobody knows you better than you wait maybe your mom and dad know you really well too but you can write about you because it's easy. It's you, right? And then a personal narrative also shares a feeling. Usually you've got to think really hard about a story. And for us to be really excited about it, you got to tell us if it was a sad story or a really happy story, or a surprising story, or a scary story. You get it? So it usually has like, there's little 
emojis of different kinds of silly faces, silly, sad, scared, confused, angry, upset. And also it has to have lots of details. You have to tell us a lot about what's happening in the story. All right, not just like, I went to the park, the end. What? It has to have more than just that. It has to have a beginning of the story, a middle part, and it has to have an end of the story. Okay, so that's my mini lesson about a personal narrative. Tomorrow, I'll tell you a little bit more about how to write a personal narrative. Today, do you have to write anything? No, all you have to do is watch my mini lesson about personal narratives. Okay, bye.